Welcome to the Dr. Daff Show. I'm Dr. Michelle Daff, and I'm excited to bring you another solo video, this time about marriage and preparing yourself to become a wife. I've received so many messages from women just asking me to create more content on being a wife, but I thought it'd be really important to tap on some of the things that are important to do to prepare yourself for being married. We already know the statistics are 50-50 in terms of people who are able to keep up their marriages. And a lot of the reason behind that is that women and men are not prepared going in, in terms of learning what's important and the things that they really need to work on beforehand. So maybe you're single and you want to be married. Maybe you're already engaged or maybe you are actually already married, but never really took the time to figure out how to prepare for it. This content is for you. Just know that I'm not going to go down the list of every single thing because I'm sure there's tons of videos that cover this topic, but I want to talk about the things that some people maybe aren't putting enough focus into that can hopefully help you out. So go ahead and sit back, relax, get something to drink, get your favorite pen, and let's talk about this. So first things first, obviously we need to talk about the most important thing, especially if you're single and you're hoping to be married, you have to first attract the man to you. You have to somehow, some way, find a way to get his attention. And that is going to come from your physical appearance, your looks. But when we're talking marriage, it's not just about having your looks when you meet the man. It's about keeping up your looks during marriage. Many men complain that after years of being married, that their wives did not keep up their looks. Whether it's their weight or it's their skin or it's their routines in terms of like getting their nails done or getting their hair done. And this is something that men really find disappointing and it does impact marriage. Now you may think that it's not that big of a deal and that men should just love you because you're you and because they know you now, but that's just not the case. The truth is men are visual and that's not something that's going to change just because you don't like it. That's how they are wired. And that attraction is what keeps them motivated to care for you, to show up for you in the marriage. And it just helps the entire feeling of the marriage just be more pleasant. Because when you look nice, when you put effort into yourself, when you feel good about your weight and your health, you will feel better about your own life. So that presence that you're bringing with you impacts him. And when you're married, a man's wife is his glory. It's his representation. It's what he's putting out into the world saying that this person is a reflection of me. So when you put care into the way you look, the way you present, you're showing up for him too. It's not just about you. I've done a lot of videos about femininity and this is something I really do want you to consider as a wife, especially if you want to be the wife to a man who leans into his masculine and is truly a provider and a protector and wants to be and show up as a man. These men really do care about you leaning into your femininity, taking time to wear colors that suit you, put on a little bit of makeup, take care of yourself, take care of your hair, take care of your clothes, take care of your feet, take care of the way that you smell. Everything matters and everything is something that you as a woman need to pay attention to before you even get into a relationship. So I know you may think this is superficial or it's not important, but for some of you who are struggling to be in relationships or struggling to stay in them, this may be something that is impacting that, is the way that you are presenting physically. So if you want more content on femininity and how to just look more ladylike, I have lots of content on that. But it's not, again, just looking good. It's also keeping up your looks. So keeping up your habits and your routines to ensure that you are caring about yourself and not letting yourself go as soon as you feel like you've you've won or you've made it because you're married now. Now, in terms of the outer appearance, we know that that's important. But another important aspect of being wife material is having an internal transformation. Until you've had an internal transformation, it will be very difficult to stay in a committed marriage. What this means is that you have had some sort of shift 
in your mental and your emotional health in your life. Maybe you grew up a certain way and you've experienced certain things and they turn you into a certain person. But somewhere down the line, there needs to be realization of who you now are or who you want to be. And that internal shift has to happen. For a lot of us women, this is a spiritual transformation, but for some of you, it can just be a mental shift. If you grew up in a household where you saw a lot of yelling, a lot of fighting, if you have poor habits like cursing or just being excessively loud, or doing things that are just very abrasive or are just unladylike, having an internal transformation is what's going to help you to see yourself for the person that you want to be. Because one thing that is so important to remember in terms of dating for marriage and being wife material is that when you're dating this man, he is thinking about his future. So when you're going on dates, when you're talking on the phone, when you're texting, those conversations and those interactions are what he is going to remember when he thinks to himself, is this someone I want to marry? Do I want to continue these interactions? Is this how my life is going to be? They are asking themselves these questions because most men, although you know they need marriage and end up benefiting from marriage, they're not running to get married unless they meet someone who they really feel like they've got something great and this is how the rest of their life is going to be. So sometimes it may be a little bit of fantasy thinking on their end, but you know, we all as humans do this. We all think like, okay, this is what we're experiencing. This is what we're going to experience every time. If you really enjoy getting ice cream and you go to a certain ice cream shop, you in your mind think every time I go here, I'm going to get this flavor. It's going to taste exactly the same. And this is part of my life and my routine. But if you go and the ice cream tastes totally different, they use different milk, they have different ingredients inside, you're going to be thrown off. And that's kind of how it is. Like they're experiencing you and they're taking you in and thinking, this is how it's going to always be. So you want every single interaction as much as you can, right? <laughs> I mean, you're human, but you want as many of your interactions with him to be positive, to be exciting, enchanting, to be something that he remembers and thinks, I want this for the rest of my life. And that is very difficult to do if you haven't had an internal transformation, an internal shift. And some of the other things I'm going to talk about are going to stem from this internal shift. And for some of you, that might be something you're just now realizing that there are things about you that need to change. And some of the things I will mention next are not really going to be possible until you fixed the core issues. If you've experienced trauma as a child, if you have had a lot of horrible relationships that you are still holding on to, if you're holding on to bitterness or anger, if you have a sense of being closed off, all of these things have to be brushed off of you before you are able to really be considered wife material. Another really important aspect of becoming wife material is for you to have a gentle and quiet spirit. Now, a lot of times we'll hear this and think like, I'm not gentle and I'm not quiet. I'm actually really loud or boisterous and that's part of my personality. And that's not what I'm talking about. This is not an issue of personality. This is a heart posture. This is a posture that you're taking as a woman to say that I'm going to have a certain way that I show up in conversations, in disagreements, in the way that I position myself when I want to say something that's maybe difficult to hear and try your best to shape that in a way that makes it easy for someone to love you. This is something that so many of us overlook because we want to say our feelings and we want to get things out of our our mouth, ourselves onto the person that's maybe offending us or the person that we're dealing with without thinking about how it's going to land and how they're going to take that in. And when you have a gentle and quiet spirit, you're thinking about how whatever you're going to do or say is going to affect your partner. So what that means is that you are non-confrontational. That's one of the most difficult things, I think, when a man is dating a woman and they really like her, maybe she's funny, she's fun to be around, but then when 
there's something that they disagree with you on, you're very confrontational. If they did something you didn't like, you're sending these like long abrasive text messages or they don't feel like they can talk to you. They don't feel like they can tell you that they have something they're concerned about without you like popping off, without you saying something that's going to actually hurt their feelings. They don't feel safe with you. When you are trying to get married, when you're trying to become a woman who really is wife material, you want to be someone who is safe. You want to be someone who the man can truly feel like he can tell you things, things that are hard without you lashing out at him. It also shows a sense of humility, a sense of you saying that, you know what, I'm not always right, or I don't always know everything. And if I'm wrong, or you know, maybe I could say this, but I'm actually going to choose not to say it. That posture is so beautiful. It's so beautiful. It's so attractive. And it's something that helps your marriage last because you are showing that it's not about you. It's about the two of you together. And whatever is going on can always be worked out. It can be discussed. It can be talked out without you having to take upon a aggressive posture. Something that can be absolutely horrifying to a man is being with a woman who makes a scene. So let's say you're out at like a Christmas party or a birthday party or dinner and something is happening and you get so upset that you make a scene. Whether it's you make a scene where he is embarrassed because you yell at him or you say something very rude or hurtful or you're you're crying because you're angry with him and you walk out of the party and you kind of just turn and shift the attention over to you. That's horrifying and it's embarrassing and it's completely unnecessary. It's one of those things where you have to learn how to control and manage your emotions. The reason why so many of you ladies are struggling to stay in relationships and are struggling to get engaged and get married is because you are not able to manage your emotions. When something happens and you get angry, you go overboard. And that can make a man decide immediately that he does not ever want to deal with you again. This also comes into play in terms of knowing when to speak, knowing when you can can stay silent and when you can speak and it's not like a when you can speak because you're less of a person but knowing when you know what I'm just gonna stop right here I'm not gonna say anything else I've made my point or I've said what I had to say and I'm just gonna be silent knowing when to do that is so important and this is something that you can practice with your friends with your family you can practice with your co-workers if you're not in a relationship at all it's something that's actually great because when you finally are in one you'll know exactly how to show up and these qualities that I'm sharing with you are so rare that when men find them they immediately just want to marry you like they just want to be with you because women nowadays are so hard and they're so aggressive and so many women because of how society has been set up here in America and because of the culture with music and with our celebrities have been taught wrong have been taught incorrectly so a lot of women are doing these things thinking that this is the way to behave and it's actually coming back to hurt so I want you to consider these things and to take them seriously you may have to go to therapy or you know talk to someone talk to a christian counselor or someone that is well knowledgeable about mental health to be able to help you to unlearn some of these behaviors and just to help you to be able to take away the things that have caused you to behave this way in the bible it says that the thing that's one of the most beautiful traits to god what god finds to be the most beautiful is a woman who has a gentle and quiet spirit that is a real treasure to god so of course being beautiful and looking beautiful is awesome it's wonderful it's, it's a great thing but that's not what really makes you beautiful what really makes you beautiful is when you have a gentle and quiet spirit. When the people in your home know that you're not the person that's going to lash out at them, say something snarky or hurtful to them, and that your demeanor, even if you're a loud person, is always gentle. Another thing that's really important if you want to become wife material, my dear, is understanding what marriage is for. In terms of being a woman, that's something that we all dream about is having a wedding, being married, all of the romantic stuff, which is great. But what is the point? Why should people get married? What is it actually 
for. If you don't understand the reason behind it, you're most likely going to abuse it. So if you haven't taken the time, take the time to read books on marriage, to read the Bible and understand marriage, to talk to people who have wonderful marriages and understand what purpose it served in their life. Because marriage has a purpose. It's not just about two people who love each other, who just want to be around each other all the time. It actually does serve a purpose for every individual's life and it serves a purpose for the family unit. So once you understand the purpose that marriage serves and you know how you can fit into that, what is your role in helping that marriage to last? And when things happen, when problems occur, you then know what your part is to play. Just like on any team, everyone has a part to play. But if you don't understand your position or you don't understand the point of the game, then if something goes wrong, you might just abandon it, or you may not know when you're making progress, or you may not know when to sit out. So understanding what marriage is for will be, I would say, your first homework assignment before you get married. Something else that's really important and probably not talked about as much as it should be is knowing the basics in how to care for a home. Now, I'm not saying that once you're married, you are the housekeeper and the chef and everything in between. If that's what your relationship is set up like, then that's fine. But understanding the basics and how to care for a home is important. And that is important for you even before you get married. But some of you may live with your parents. And so maybe you're not used to knowing the mechanics of how a home works. And I'm not just talking again about cleaning and cooking. I'm just talking about maintaining a home all together learning how to do those things so is important learning how to clean a kitchen learning how to clean a bathroom if you have to clean it learning how to wash something that you know maybe got messed up or a stain got on something and you immediately know how to wash it by hand you know maybe knowing how to sew something if you have to sew something quickly if a button falls off and you know falls off your husband's jacket or something and you know how to just sew it very quickly for them to get out the door. Now you may think that these things are old school, but these things are life skills. They're just something that this culture has placed less and less importance on as women started going into the workforce and kind of abandoning those home skills, but they are important for you and for your family. If you wanna be a wife, if you wanna be a mother, your family depends on you for lots of different things and you want to feel and be useful. And so if you take some time to learn how to cook one thing, that would be great, even if you don't cook. Okay, I know women who say, I don't cook, and that's just me, I don't cook. But if there's a situation where you cannot get food or a situation where you need to cook, it's too late in the night and your husband or your child is very hungry, you need to learn how to make a sandwich. A sandwich, it's basic. <laughs> know how to do it, know how to use a washing machine, know how to use a dishwasher. It's not to say that you're doing these things as your chores, but just learn the mechanics and the basics of how to run a home. What is important? Is there a garden? You know, how, how to plant flowers, how to water flowers. These are basic things, but they're very important. And and men do look to women to know how to do certain things. Now, depending on who you end up with, they will tell you what's important to them. And that's how you can decide, okay, is this person for me or is they're not for me? If they love home cooked meals and that's very important to them and you don't know how to cook and you're not interested in cooking, then you probably shouldn't date this guy. Like it's just not wise because after the attraction, you know, kind of just like levels out, he's going to be wondering why he hasn't had a home cooked meal in a long time. And that's going to become a source of contention. So, you know, just think about certain things ahead of time in terms of what's you and what's not you and understand how that fits into the person that you're actually dating. If they say that they want their wives to be responsible for certain things in the home, are you able to do that? Are you capable? Do you want to? Okay, be very realistic with yourself, but again, know how to do the basics. There's a lady on YouTube that I really enjoy watching. Her channel is called Inspired by Nikki. Her name is Nikki and she is a beautiful homemaker and she has great videos where she's actually cleaning her house. You can clean with her. She cooks meals for her family. She just 
showcases the beauty of being a wife and a mother and how her service in this life is to her family and if you're someone who doesn't understand how the mechanics of a home work you can watch her channel and i think you can learn a lot from her i will leave her link below but her name is inspired by nikki something else that's really important in terms of becoming wife material is knowing what is yours to carry when you're married when you have your husband there are certain things that are his responsibility and there are things that are your responsibility. There are things that are his nature and there are things that are your nature. But if you don't know what yours is to carry, there will be conflicts. And most men kind of, you know, they're not really going to like spell things out for you. They're just going to go with the flow and see how you adapt to that. So. And I'm not talking about like who takes out the trash and that kind of thing, but it could even be something like that, right? But I'm just talking about like which responsibilities in the family belong to him and which he's going to rely on you for. And this is something that needs to be discussed because every relationship looks different. But most masculine men typically want feminine women and they care about you being in your femininity and they will take care of the things that they feel they need to take care of. Again, it will look different for everyone. So I don't want to tell you this is what he should be taking care of and this is what you should be taking care of, but understand what yours is to carry. And remember that in terms of your actual design as a woman, your actual God-given makeup, your load to carry is really being a helper to him being a helper to him in every way and understanding how you can help him with the family vision, with the vision of the marriage. And sometimes you helping him is just getting dinner ready when he gets home because he's going to be really tired or making the place smell really good so that he's in a nice, like beautiful environment after being at work all day. Maybe that's what helps him. Maybe what helps him is you taking care of the dinner reservations or planning out the family vacation. Whatever it is, just understand that your role is to help. And there's something to be said about a woman who enjoys helping her husband. If he thinks that you believe that he is a burden in your life or his wants or his needs or his desires are a burden, then that is going to affect your marriage. And this also comes into the role of sex, right? This is something that uh, unfortunately is not talked about a lot. And I feel like I need to make some content on like a woman being a helper because I've gotten a lot of messages asking exactly what that means. But this also plays a role in sex. Understanding a man's makeup and what's important to a man is important. Now, if you understand these things, then it's going to help you to know when you're misstepping because wisdom is something that you need to have in marriage. And wisdom comes from applying knowledge. If you don't know anything, then it's <laughs> very difficult for you to be wise. So learning about men and what men like, and what men desire, and then applying that knowledge to your marriage is what's going to make it work. Men need sex. I know this is something women hate to hear because yes, it's really hard sometimes if you don't really care for sex or if you're so stressed and busy as a mom or, you know, as a working woman and this is something that is just not that important to you, that's okay, but it's important to men. It's going to be important to your husband. So how are you going to work that into your marriage? Is it something you're going to talk about and agree upon like you know, these days or at these times, this is when I'm most available for that? Or are you just going to play it out day by day and say no and, you know, say yes when you want to? I mean, this is something to think about because many women are shocked once they get married about sex. They're shocked about how much their husband wants sex. They're shocked about how upset he's getting that they're not giving him sex. They're shocked about why it's so important to him all of a sudden or whatever, whatever nuances come with your particular relationship. This is something that is important to men and m many men will marry a woman 
you know, for this heavily, right? It's something that they are saying, okay, like this is something I'm going to get from the rest of my life from this particular person and I want her and I want this. So if they marry you and then you don't give it to them or you rarely ever give it to them, it's a disappointment. And so this is something I want you to consider. And if you've never had sex before, again, knowledge, learning about sex, learning about your body, learning about what is, you know, learning about what satisfies a man, what men like in bed. All of these things are just as important as you learning how to wash the dishes, learning how to cook a meal. And to him, it's probably more important. So a lot of women get really sad or worked up when their marriages fail off of things like this. And they think that they've done everything they're supposed to do. They've been there for him. They've found him jobs. They've given him money. They've supported him, all these things. And then they end up with a woman who's just like really feminine and attractive and gives him sex. And they're like, how shallow, how superficial this person's awful or horrible when really they're not. But you did not pay attention to the things that were important to him. And I can tell you this for 99% of men, most men, (laughs) sex is important. So make sure that this is something that you know about and something that you're comfortable with. And if you're not, take time to go to therapy, figure it out, figure it out. Whatever has happened has happened, but you can have healing and you can be able to come out of it to be able to be the partner that your husband needs you to be. And the last thing that I would say for this particular video, and I can make more content on this if you like, please let me know, leave me a comment, be sure to like the video to let me know and let the algorithm know that this is content that is, you know, enjoyable so that I can continue making this content. But the last thing I'm going to leave you with in terms of being wife material is time management. And what I mean by this is you learning what you have going on in your life and how you're going to fit your husband into that. So a lot of us women in this culture now are working outside of the house and we're busy and we we may have businesses, we have children, we have family, we have our own personal needs. And our time is very scarce. We're always trying to figure out how we can fit time in for the small things. But when you're married, your husband is a priority in terms of your time. And when you are a feminine woman, being available is so important. And what I mean is being emotionally available, being physically available, being sexually available, all of these things are important. So that means that you're going to have to figure out how you're going to work your husband into your life so that he is not an afterthought or he doesn't feel like he is begging for your time. And when you're actually married and you're in the home, allowing yourself to have time where you are available, where you're just sitting down, drinking some tea or reading a magazine or just, you know, looking out at your flowers. And he can walk up to you and say, wow, did you watch the game today? Obviously, you probably didn't watch the game, but he wants to tell you about the game and he doesn't feel like he's bothering you because you're in the middle of writing up some assignment or some really important paper at 7 p.m. when you're already at home, right? You want to make sure that you are available to him so that he can feel that it's easy to walk up to you and just give you a kiss and give you a hug and tell you something about his day or tell you something that he's thinking about for the future and not always feeling like he is interrupting something, he is aggravating you, okay? So managing your time, especially if you're a career woman, is important. And many men will start to feel like they are not wanted or not needed because their wives are doing everything by themselves or they are not making any space in their lives for their husbands. So I encourage you if you are single or if you're engaged to start deciding how you're going to make space and make room for your husband. I have a lot of tips like this on my podcast, The Dr. Dap Show. I make videos here on YouTube, but on the podcast, I have so much more content. So if you enjoy content like this on femininity and on marriage, then please visit my podcast, The Dr. Dap Show. And I hope that this video was super helpful to you. I hope that it just helped you to think about some other things that are not typically talked about in terms of becoming wife material. And every single single one of you ladies are worthy of being married once you're able to get a hold of these things. 
it's not like a you're worthy just because you're a woman. You do have to put some effort and cultivate a lifestyle where you really are an asset to your husband and to your family. Okay, this is something that really becomes the joy of your life when you do become this kind of woman. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.